1903, the Wright brothers created the first ever model of what would later become the airplane. The flight lasted 59 seconds and flew less than 900 meters. Yet, less than 70 years later, humanity was already on the moon. Humans are unique because of our outstanding ability to improve upon what nature has given us. These inventions uh, give us more ideas and more understanding of the universe, which in turn give us more inventions. In a symbolical way, development and improvement are like a cycle with humans and past uh, technologies that keep the loop going. However, today, there are technologies capable of breaking the cycle. These technologies are artificial intelligence and cyber warfare, specifically cyber security. Artificial intelligence is a very specific field of computer science that focuses on the development of machines capable of thinking, learning, and acting just like any normal human would. Renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku focuses his analysis on the technology on the raw potential. He argues that under control of a super intelligent computer, something like the Predator drone, which carries four different types of missiles, could take down a city in less than a day. However, this statement is only true if we analyze it that under the technological singularity, which is the point where machines become smarter than humans, artificial intelligence will be a weapon rather than a tool against humanity. This is a diagram that represents the level of artificial intelligence uh, on current society. It's divided into three simple methods. Stage one is where basic assisting technology stands. Machines like Siri, Coranta, Google Assistant, they can only do whatever the parameters allow them to do. Stage two is where current technology stands. This is where machines can slightly break the rules of their parameter and do great things with it. However, stage three is the most interesting one. This is your Terminators, the one that science fiction would call a complete AI. Machines so powerful that they can completely obliterate the parameters of their coding. Now, analyzing artificial intelligence can be tricky. However, we can analyze it under medicine and manufacturing of goods. Over the last 100 years, humans have eradicated millions of diseases that we previously considered mortal. Today, something that's a flu killed millions of people hundreds of years ago. And this is all because of the scientific and technological advances that we've lived on the past few decades. However, this is only the peak of the iceberg when it comes to technology. Did you know that one in every two healthy women are told that they have breast cancer because of faulty mammograms? It is true. However, with the implementation of artificial intelligence into this field of society, this will no longer be an issue. With machines capable of doing tests that are 99% accurate, 30 times faster than any normal human doctor. And the implementation of artificial intelligence into research and development will also bring great advances. Today, the average medicine costs $359 million to produce and takes about 12 years. Only one in every 5,000 medicines ever make it to human testing. However, with artificial intelligence, this will no longer be an issue. With medicines being made faster and cheaper in less time. The other area that I want to analyze is uh, the manufacturing of goods. Manufacturing is any company's dream, especially with AI, since you got massive costs that their human counterparts currently have. Turns out, artificial intelligence doesn't want a coffee break every 20 minutes. However, this is only the peak of the iceberg. 90 miles west of Tokyo, there's the Fenuk plant. Here, the, uh, the robots to human ratio, it's an outstanding seven robots for every human. In fact, this plant is called the Lights Up Factory because lights are never turned on, since, you know, robots don't need lights. And the developments that this will bring will be massive for society. Imagine doing something 30 times faster for less money and in mass production. The other technology that will change the future is cybernetics. At its core, cybernetics is the study of protecting technology through technology. Complicated, I know. However, cybernetics is such a wide topic that I will be only talking about cyber warfare and how the advances on security measures will not be enough in the future. Now, let me present you with a computer virus. However, this is no normal computer virus. This is Stuxnet. A computer virus de deployed on Iran in 2009. It can track, destroy, and leave without any trace 
any nuclear centrifuge connected to a nuclear power plant. In fact, it's so powerful that it destroyed one-fifth of Iran's nuclear program and slowed down the country by 60%. A computer virus that can attack more than a computer screen. And this is the future of cybernetics. Computer viruses that can do way more than just your basic computer abilities. Computer viruses that can completely destroy areas of real society. But how does it relate to AI, you may be asking? And it's simple. Artificial intelligence in military. Since the start of artificial intelligence, governments have been using it to implement it in military because of the immense ramifications that it has. First, you have the increase in precision of attacks. No more emotions, no more moral compasses, just plain all killing fun. This is not the only one advantage. We also have the decrease in human losses caused by conflicts. Imagine robots taking place where human soldiers now take. This will decrease the human losses caused by any war significantly. Technology is all around us. There's nothing you can do to avoid it. We have to embrace it. And the future, these technologies will, be, will change every aspect that society has currently. This will be our last human inventions, our last inventions. Thank you very much.